A cold case confession tonight, a murder that has haunted our area for nearly two decades for a little over two decades actually is finally solved in November of 1998. 18 year old Miranda Fenner was found murdered at the movie store in Laurel. Her feet bound, her throat slashed. Now, after nearly 21 years, a suspect has confessed to the crime. Yellowstone County Sheriff Mike Linder held a news conference late this afternoon to make that announcement. Q2 Zoe Zandora was there and joins us now from the newsroom with more details. Zoe? Zachary O'Neill appeared on investigators' radar as a possible suspect in the Miranda Fenner case back in 2000. Now in 2017, they say he walked into the Yellowstone County Detention Facility and asked to speak to deputies to confess to the crime. And in the 2019, he was charged in relation West End Billings newspaper carrier who had been raped and left for dead. And today, he admitted to the murder of Miranda Fenner in court. The Yellowstone County Sheriff's Office, the Cold Case Unit, the Laurel Police Department, all working together for over two decades. Detectives Fritz and Bancroft working on it for nearly 11 years. Today, they say everything between the interview interrogation to the absolute newest and most advanced DNA technology. And really what it came down to was the legwork for the last 20 years. The nonstop dedication to get O'Neill behind bars. This is just a brutal murder murder case and the detectives say ultimately it speaks to the impact it had on the family and the community for the last 20 years. Well, absolutely. We all have children. We, yeah. you know, we have children who have grown up our community and we I've had kids who have worked part-time jobs at a local business. Can you imagine? I mean, what, what, the, what the Fenners have had to go through for all these years and, uh, you know, it, it's bittersweet. Don't get me wrong, but uh, the, to give them some relief and some uh, uh, something uh, really makes it worth it. Again, this is one of the most brutal murder cases in the last 50 years, and there was an overwhelming heavy. Um, people have worked on the case for, from the very beginning, staring at a picture of a woman who was brutally murdered and saying the case is closed. Uh, just an overwhelmingly emotional day today. All right, thank you, Zoe. And at that news conference, a statement from the family was read from cold case coordinator Monty Wallace thanking everyone for their love and support during this time. We're relieved that there is an end in sight for the nightmare that's caused so much heartache and pain to everyone who knew and loved Miranda. Unfortunately, nothing will bring Miranda back, and we can only pray that other families may be spared the grief that this type of crime inflicts. And we spoke to Miranda's family back in 2014 as another anniversary of her murder passed without it being solved, and this is what her parents had to say in that interview. I'm prepared to not ever find out why but at least i want to know who i want to see him hung by the neck i don't like someone it's an eye for an eye man when you take someone's life that didn't do anything to you they should be punished severely them kind of people don't need to be around well, Zachary O'Neill is being held on burglary charges in Washington State. He's scheduled to be sentenced here in Billings next month.